you probably already heard of the 2007 movie Holes, starring Shia LaBeouf. But did you know that that movie was based on a novel? Holes by Louis or Louise Sacher. It's a really short and simple book to read, but the story behind it is phenomenal. So the main protagonist is a young teenage boy called Sani Yelnats and as he's making his way home from school, a pair of famous shoes which has been reported stolen falls on him miraculously. What happens then is he gets put on trial and put into a sort of prison camp for teenagers. This is in the middle of the desert with literally nothing else around and he spends the next few months there. This is where the main story takes part. So Stanley knows that he didn't do it, but he can't convince anyone else otherwise. And he's made to do the regular prisoner task, which is to dig holes into the big yard. And I know this sounds all strange, and it did to me as well reading a book. But later, as I find out, the main warden of the whole camp heard through family history that a huge lump of treasure is buried somewhere in the land surrounding the camp. And by getting the prisoners to dig a hole, she's hoping to find the treasure. The days seem repetitive and children kind of get to know each other a little bit, but it's not understanding. But then a new kid comes in, his name is Zero. Now, you find this later on in the book, but he's the actual guy who stole the famous shoes. Zero and Stanley become friends, amazing friends, and they plan to escape together. So, in one of the days when they're digging holes, Zero just kind of stops and walks off. And the warden is either given a chance to shoot him or not, but he doesn't. Then Stanley decides to join him the next day and he tries to find him, spends days looking for him, getting dehydrated in the middle of the desert, until finally he finds him almost a corpse. So the two boys make their way towards the mountain that you can see in the background to try and find some refuge, some water, some food. And that's where the story picks up. They face problems such as storms and reptiles and they don't have many survival skills at that. This book is just a big adventure. I loved reading this because, as you can see, the language is simple. It comes in nice short chapters with nothing too confusing about the whole book. I highly recommend it to the younger audience, people under the age of 18. 